Ergonomics is not about adjusting your office chair. Ergonomics is not about stretching in the morning or wellness during the day. Those are different disciplines. Ergonomics, the way we practice it, is science-based. It's an engineering discipline. Our client base is derived from Fortune 500 clients worldwide. And we work with them from the corporate boardrooms right down uh, to the shop floor. Many consulting organizations take a high level or 30,000 foot view of the organizations that they work with. At Human Tech, we take a distinctly different view. Ours isn't at 30,000 foot, nor 3,000 foot, but at 30 inches. The area where the individual works with their equipment, sightline access, those areas in which they can communicate with coworkers. Most of the good ideas come from those people who do the job every day. They are the true experts. By engaging them, working with them, within that arm's reach, within that 30 inch view, by looking at the specific body positions, the postures, the forces, the frequencies, having a quantitative view of the job combined with the social aspects, the individual, what they feel about the job, we can actually measure it and make sure the job fits the person and the person isn't fit to the job. If I was to think about what a company should do at the beginning of setting up a process or setting up their workstations, I was to think hard about what you're asking the person to achieve and think hard about what kind of outputs you want them to develop. Workstations that are designed well for people with their capabilities in mind will deliver a better product, better productivity, and a better workforce. One of the metrics that we utilize is injury illness rate, and uh, our clients typically experience 60, 70 percent reductions in those numbers within a couple years of engaging us. This operation used to be performed with an extended reach and a lot of backbending and twisting. In addition, three individuals had had at least some discomfort that had kept them off this job. When an ergonomics initiative is properly deployed, we can expect to see measurable improvements in areas such as health and safety. We can expect to see improvements in productivity, the velocity with which materials go through a shop, the ease with which people are able to assemble things. We can expect to see uh, improvements in product quality. When things are assembled consistently and assembled in the most efficient way possible, the product inherently is better. All of this adds to profitability. Part of the 30-inch view is not only talking to the operator, but taking physical measurements. Something as small as a grip diameter can play a big role on the person that does that job 420 minutes a day, 50 weeks a year. Before we first started making seats, it would take probably about 40 minutes a seat. How about now? It's about 22. Do you tell me cut the time in half? When we engage a new client, we, we really want to understand what their problem is and what they're trying to achieve. They have factors at work in their workplace that need to be changed and improved. And we bring a science to bear on those problems and solve them. The training we provide is key to the sustainability of your ergonomics process. We teach you to do the assessments that we do. We teach you to solve the problems that we can solve. And our hope is that you can solve 80 to 90 percent of your problems on your own. And if you need a little help, we're here to help. We work hard, we listen well, and we evaluate ourselves based on our clients' success.